Scorpio. Thanks for showing up to watch your reading. So this is for Scorpio Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Pay closest attention to your Moon sign or your Venus sign if you don't know those in the description box below. There's a link to a website that'll tell you. And this is also if you're spying on a Scorpio. So let's just get started. So in general, what is the overall theme for you in regards to love? And we're like, it seems like it's taken forever to come through. But on a positive note, it's like, okay, well that means no drama though, right? So maybe you're maybe you're not even looking because of that. Now, if you're in a coupled relationship, it's just like, you know what, you're keeping the peace, but it might be a little bit boring. Um, what are the things that are working in your favor in regards to uh, love in the month of December? And they have so many things they wanna tell you. Now, the first thing is that you brought some things to completion. Some things have like ended and so coming into this Mercury retrograde that we have for most of December, that's actually a good thing because you're less likely or less inclined than you have retrogrades past to go back to old ways of doing things, back to old situations and revisit them. It's like you kind of closed out your stuff for the year of 2017. So this might be an easier one for you than ones previous. So good for you. Now the challenges though um, in this completion are like, okay, what do I do next? And just like the patience and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting and waiting. And some of these things might have to do with money, finance, career, daily routines. You might feel a little directionless and that's okay. Part of that is just astrology. Um, so what else is working? So like what else is working for you is that there's somebody out there for you. Maybe you're already coupled with them and you want the same thing at the end of the day, but you might have like a little bit of conflict during the month of December in deciding on how to get there. So um, it doesn't mean they're not a good match. It doesn't mean um, anything negative that way, but it's like focus on that end goal is where you want to be. They say like talking to new people is going to be good. Um, communicating via like text message or email or Facebook or whatever app you might be using to find a match if you're single. Um, all of these things are going to be really good ways to express yourself and to bring love into your life. And so I think part of the reason being is, you know, um, in conversation, things might just slip when they're face to face, but this way you get a chance to review it before you hit that send button. Now, oh boy, I have a lot of things to say here. They say like you're perfectly aware of what's going on around you. Nothing's being hidden from you. You're not hiding anything from yourself. Um, but for whatever reason, you still have that energy of like a lack of direction or knowing what you want to do or um, maybe feeling like things aren't in your control. So what are the other challenges that you'll be facing? And they're like trying to celebrate, have fun, have a good time, and like to really dedicate yourself to these conversations that you'll have um, through technology or even writing um, little notes would be good if you're trying to strengthen your relationship. What is the best way out of these challenges? And they say, um, well, okay, this is very specific, so it might, this might not be for everybody, so we're gonna do this twice. <laughs> but what they're saying is understand the person that you've been partnered with or, um, or that you've been talking to, things like that. Like if they're not your soulmate, like recognize it, you know, because your blinders are off. So you should have that awareness. It's just like, you don't want to deal with it. They're like, you need to close the door on that. So you can step through a new one that is better because that's how you take your power back. That's how you take back your control and get the things that you actually desire. Because if this is you, if you're not with the right person, the whole relationship is hopeless anyway. You're not going to force them to be the right person. But for some reason, some, at least one of you, this might be because it's a very specific message, are not ready to like give up on it and walk away or leave it. And they're like, that's the decision that you're having a hard time that you just like don't want to make. Maybe because you're being emotionally lazy. Like you know you have to do it, but you just, you're not. And so um, that's what they're saying is like that change is needed. <laughs> and they're saying that the conversations are definitely challenging to have. They're not fun to have. Um, and maybe it's hard to get face to face with somebody because it's not the kind of thing you want to send via text message or, or anything like that. Like, hey, by the way, I know we've been together like 15 years, but I'm done. And then block them. No, that's not what you want to do. So maybe you're gradually kind of building a case, <laughs> you know, but they're like, no, you just got to end it. You just have to if this is you. Um, because what are you waiting for? Are you waiting for things to grow and change? Because they're not going to is basically what that's, what that's saying. Now for the rest of you, what is the best way out of the challenges that you're facing in regards to attracting more love or attracting new love in the month of December? And they say patience, but it's so worth it 
because the efforts that you're making, the things that you're doing in your day-to-day -day life, um, you know, like the things that you're uh, writing down, make, the vision boards you're making, they're all starting to pay off and they're going to pay off. You just don't see it right now, but it's working behind the scenes to bring you this thing that is really big and beautiful. And they're saying like your happily ever after is there and it is coming. Um, but like, if you're not doing these things, if you're not planting the seeds and telling the universe what you want, then it, then it's not coming because this is what it's saying is it's like you have to take action so december is going to be a really powerful manifestation month for you and that's interesting because um some people are worried to do it in a mercury retrograde but i say this is your go ahead now your affirmation for the month of december in regards to love and bringing more of it into your life is elevation. You're making this conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. And so this is really important, um, especially for those of you who are holding on to relationships that are just not for you. They're like, okay, so that's lowering my vibration, right? Because it's not what I want. So if I'm going to focus on this end goal of these things that I do desire, automatically my vibration elevates and it helps suck in all these things that I want from the universe. So that's that. Uh, best of luck. And if you haven't been, you know, writing your list of all the things you want, making your vision boards, now is the month. All right. See you in January.